Welcome to another video about therapeutic medical physics. Whether you're studying for a part three exam or just curious about H and D curves, welcome. So you may see on an oral exam or written exam a graph where you have the log of exposure on the x-axis in millirem and you're gonna have optical density on the y-axis. You may be asked, what is this graph? So, so this is a Herder and Driffeld curve. It simply plots the optical density against the log of exposure. And if you have to define optical density, which for part two or any written exam, maybe in your graduate school or classes, even in physics for undergrad, you need to know that the optical density is simply just the log of the initial amount of intensity and transmitted light over that of the transmitted through the film. So that is how you first identify what this curve is. And they may ask, how would you graphically show the base and the fog of this film on this graph specifically? So the fog, if you remember, is a darkening of the film due to just background radiation. Uh, all films have this in some degree. Also, the base is just the natural attenuation of a completely unexposed film. So if we were to put that on the graph, what we would have is right here where the beginning of the graph, there it doesn't start at y equals zero. It starts at y equals some small amount here. And you know, that's gonna be the optical density. And if you, I'm just gonna do little jagged lines and that dotted line would represent our base and our fog in this graph. So another thing would be what is what, what's the speed of the film? What does that even mean? So the speed is simply the amount of radiation that it requires to get an optical density of one above this basin fog. So it doesn't include that basin fog because we immediately have some type of inherent optical density because of those. So a fast film, and if we want to go ahead and draw a fast and a slow film. A fast film requires little radiation to reach an optical density of one. So that would mean it would be a lot more, this is probably greatly exaggerated, but to prove my point, it takes very little exposure to hit an optical density of one. And then a lower may start with the same base and fog but it's gonna look like something like this. So if we say that this is optical density of one, and of course this is our exposure, we will see that it takes very, a lot less radiation to hit an you know, optical density of one for our fast film, that's what they call here, and our slow film, because it takes, th that would be fast, and to get the same optical density, this amount of exposure for the slow. So that's what is me meant between the speed of the film. And finally, simply the gradient and the latitude. The gradient is the slope of the curve in the linear portion, which would be probably considered around like right there, that's a pretty ugly box, but that's where we want our imaging and our dosimetry. It's very, it's predictable, we know because of that linear nature of it, how the film is going to respond. And so uh, the gradient is just a slope of that and it kind of measures the contrast of a film as well. So if we have a high gradient, here, something to important to remember and definitely for all films is a characteristic that's worth knowing. If we have a high gradient, we have a, a strong contrast, which we want in our films. So our smaller changes in exposure lead to a large change in optical density for a, for a high gradient film. Finally, latitude, that's a, just a range of exposures that a film can accept and still produce a usable contrast. So just based on that, you want a larger latitude because you can use a wider range of exposures and underexposing that in a low gradient, uh, it, it overexposes it the same and the you want a wide range. So 
Um, that is the H and D curve. You certainly in your medical physics career will encounter these and have questions on them. If you have any other additional questions other than the basic review here, please post below. I will help where I can. Thank you for watching. See you next time.